I was fishing on the beach and I called Greg Norman. I was like, hey man, there's a lot of sharks out here. Do you want to go fishing tomorrow? He's like, yeah, let's go. I got my 41 foot boat. So the following day, we headed offshore and we went along the beach and we found a huge school of black tip sharks. You know, one of the most incredible things about nature is to expect the unexpected. And while Dr Josh was flying the drone, you know what he saw? He saw a giant hammerhead chasing a black tip. Now, I've never seen that, and I've done a lot of fishing around, my, around the world in a lot of different places. I've seen tigers eating black marlins. But to see a hammerhead chasing a black tip was kind of unique. So Josh is flying the drone, and um, we hooked a black tip. And all of a sudden, this giant hammerhead came flying in on this black tip. And it was the most incredible scene I'd ever witnessed. Is that him right here flying the boat? That's him right there. there. That's him right there, yeah. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Look at the size of that slob. <laughs> About to eat it. Swirling. I'm following this giant hammerhead with the drone and he's got this black tip shark in his mouth and it's just incredible footage, right? And I'm keeping my nerves as calm as possible. I can't get excited. I don't want to ruin the shot. And then he drops the black tip. I'm like, what's he doing? He comes back around, he picks it up again. All of a sudden, he just swallowed this 80 pound shark and took off. We got him. Shark on. Guys, we got a giant shark on. We just spot fished it with the drone. We hooked a black tip shark, okay? This hammerhead came up and he swallowed them. He swallowed them. <laughs> <laughs> He's driving with a reel. Look at the reel screaming, guys. It's a monster. You ready, Greg? Yeah. Hey, Anna. I'm not going to make this call. I'm going. I'm at a 1,300 pound hammerhead right now. <laughs> so, so I'm. Uh, yeah, I've just, uh, I just literally got hooked up on this thing, so I can't do two things at one time. <laughs> we could be fighting this fish for the next two hours. This could be, we might have to go for lunch after this. This could be the epic fight of the, of this the is year. Epic fight of the year. <laughs> I want to get back on the mono. Where's the mono at? No, it's about 400 feet, 300 feet. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're while in the parade were, now. While you were talking, he's so pulling I'm, off the I FaceTimed Tyler from Duke Perfect. I told him, hey, yo, you need to come down here. The fishing's hot. And uh, while I was talking to him on the phone, he's still running. Yeah. That shark took hundreds of yards of line. We're in the braid now. And I, to be honest with you, I don't like the braid. A kingfish, a Spanish mackerel, anything, a bluefish, anything, anything that swim by. So yeah. I think what we should do is fish her, um, Flash. 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 Let's bump forward and we'll get back on the mono here. Slower, 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 slower. I want to keep good pressure on him. You have no idea how he's hooked. What's the definition of power? Is when I turn up to my, my mate and my, my friend who was running my boat at the time, Flash, and I said, Flash, what's going on? He said, hey boss, you're getting towed. Now there's no line coming off the reel. We're getting towed by one knot by this giant fish. Now, I mean, when you start thinking about the poundage that this fish is pulling around, of not just the boat, but the people on the boat and the fuel in the boat, that is an impressive statement and an understatement about the energy and the power of these magnificent animals. We're in a 30, we're in a 41. 41. We're in a 41 foot boat. Oh and this shark is towing the boat at one knot. That tells you how big this fish is. I mean, how much does the boat weigh? 20,000 pounds? Yeah, 23, fully fuel. Insane. He is literally, that's how these fish are so powerful, it's unbelievable. Gosh. When you let the shark tow the boat or a big fish, like a big tuna, a marlin, I mean marlin's a little more challenging, but a big tuna or a big shark, fish that don't jump and go crazy. When you let them tow the boat, it actually wears them down oh, really good. Big it's, time. Yeah. yeah, this is like the best way to catch them. Chasing them down and you know, now you let, let them fight the stretch of the mono, let them tow the boat. 
it wears them down real good. It's actually really good for the fish too because the faster you can wear them down, the better the chance you have of getting a good release. I just shook his head. You did? Yeah. Does this bring back any memories to uh, big fish you caught in the past? Oh yeah, this reminds me um, off of South Australia, Port Lincoln, great white fishing, many, many, a couple of decades ago. Uh, we were on a, about a 2,000 pounder on a 50 pound test. Oh my gosh. Stand up and- uh, You wish you had this setup, right? I wish I had this <laughs> setup. It was like a four and a half, four hour, 40 battle. Oh my gosh. So uh, he won, the, the fish won in the long run, and uh, which was good, but it was uh, that was more tackle than it was angler, so I can't blame the arrow on that one. No, <laughs> there's only so much you can do with 50 yeah. pound tackle yeah. against a 2,000 pounder. Put the bow down the line, Flash. Put the bow right down the line. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Keep it. There's a lot of slack, there's a lot of slack. So are you hungry, by the way? No, I'm good for the moment. You don't want a piece of dog? Uh, I'd have a piece of my Wagyu, but jerking Dude, I, I've been asking for this Wagyu for a while here. <laughs> I, I, I know, still I, haven't seen bad. it. I know, my bad. I ate the last packet yesterday in my office. Really? Yeah. Is it better than this? Uh, it definitely smells better than that. Really? <laughs> G note? It's only got one note. It's called the fishing guitar. Look how much pressure is on that line right now. It's called the 130 guitar. That's why we use 250 pound mono. We use extremely heavy tackle because you never know. You never know what you're going to hook. And this is a monster and the stock market just opened up. I'm going to turn my alarm off here. There we go. Close. Close, yep. He's getting close. And now just because he's close doesn't mean the fight is over. He can still make another giant run right now. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna move this rod. We're gonna shift over here. So I don't, there's too much gunnel here. Hold on. Yep, ready? Go. Hang on, I gotta stand up. Yep, perfect. Now comes the hard part. I think I see him down there, hold on. I think I see him down there. I think I see the, the leader. Lo and behold, I hear everybody, especially Flash and Josh yelling, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. Well, I hadn't seen it yet. So to me, it was like, wow. I mean, I've seen some big fish. I mean, I've dived with great whites. I've caught black marlin uh, well over a thousand pounds. When you see that fish for the first time up against my 40 foot, 41 foot boat, you go, holy moly, this thing's huge. It's bigger than I ever anticipated. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's a giant! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, dude, uh, it's a thousand pounds. Oh my gosh! You can get the tail wrap around him now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look how big he is! All the way to the shore, buddy. All the way to the shore. Okay, okay Ryan, you should grab his head and I'm gonna grab his tail, right? So we all start guesstimating. Is it over a thousand pounds? Josh says it's over a thousand, it's over a thousand. I go, oh, I think it may be a little bit more than that. But one thing we didn't know, the length of it. It turned out to be well over 14 feet, actually 14 feet, seven and three eight inches. We measured it because we took some rope when it had, we had it beside the boat from the, from the nose to the tail, and we came back and we marked it up. So I estimated, my own personal estimation is over 1,200 pounds. This was a big fish. Look at the size of that hammerhead shark, guys. He's gotta be cool. Dude, he's gotta be over a thousand pounds. Over a thousand pounds. Wow. Feet, feet, unbelievable. Dude, what, what a fish. fish. <laughs> Let's let him go. Yeah, let him go. We're reviving the hammerhead. We got a rope on his head, a rope on his tail, and Greg's holding the dorsal fin. We're keeping the fish upright. We're using the boat to get water through its gills. We revive this fish for about 30, 40 minutes, and then we release it. And just before we release it, Greg's like, let's jump in the water with it. Probably the most memorable thing about this this whole thing with this giant hammerhead for me was is the right at the end. So Josh, Ryan, and myself, you know what we did? We stripped off, down to our shorts, of course. We stripped off and we jumped in. Why? Because you wanted to feel connected with this fish. You wanted to make sure this fish felt like, okay, these guys are really, really trying to revive and get, get me going. So with Flash and the cameraman holding the big hammerhead beside the boat, the three of us jumped in. There she goes. There she goes. Guys, what a rush to be in the water with a fish that size. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Ah, oh, that was unreal. Well, we did the right thing. 
she lived? Yeah. She ate? No. She lived? The most important thing is she, she lived. She swam away. 100%. 50% is the catch, 50% is the release. Way to go, buddy. <sighs> what an absolutely amazing experience to see a fish of this size. I mean, this fish was 14 feet. Seven inches. You don't see something like that every day. Just an incredible experience. Greg and I were giggling and laughing the whole time. It was just a surreal moment. The fact that this fish was one inch bigger than the world record is incredible. And Greg just did a fantastic job fighting the fish. Please, guys, go and check out Greg's stuff. His links are in the description. He's a great guy. He loves the outdoors, loves fishing. Great personality. I, love, I can't wait to fish with him again. It's just so much fun to be around. And also, guys, make sure you go and like this video right now. If you enjoyed watching it, hit that little like button. Subscribe, and we'll see you next time.